Hey guys, thank you for joining me again at Completing Christ. Continue to just walk through the book of James. Uh, spent a little bit of time uh, last week talking about James chapter 1, beginning with verse 19. We looked at the phrase that I need to be quick to hear or quick to listen. We talked about the importance of listening. Now, I'm going to go back and read that text and uh, we'll just kind of dive in. But remember, James wrote this book to believers, uh, Jewish believers that had been dispersed because of persecution. And remember who James, who James is, he's brother of Jesus, you know, uh, identifies himself as a bond servant, very, very practical book. Uh, you know, we can take it through the power of God's presence in our life, apply it to our life and real life situations, you know, like he talks about trials and how to handle them and asking for for wisdom he's talked about being blessed and and we we looked at what that meant and then he started diving in last week begin with verse 19 of chapter 1 i'm gonna go back and read the passage again uh chapter 1 19 through 21 all right and look at the second phrase here in this in this text he says this i this you know my beloved brethren james says look i know you know this but let's practice it and this is what we looked at last week but everyone must be quick to hear. All right? And we talked about how that we need to be eager and ready to hear. And how that, that my listening is a gift, my listening is a choice, and I can become a better listener by practicing. All right, so look what he says next. He said, be, be quick to hear, but be slow to speak and slow to anger. For the anger of man does not achieve the righteousness of God. Verse 21, therefore putting aside all filthiness and all that remains in wickedness, in humility receive the word implanted, which is able to save your soul. Remember we talked just a little bit about the power of the word and how important it is to get lost people under the preaching and teaching of God's word. But we talked about being quick to hear, quick to listen. Today, let's look at being slow to speak. You know, for most of us, for most of us, we probably have this backwards, that we're a lot more eager to speak than we are to listen. Have you noticed that? And I would just ask you about yourself. You know, are you eager to speak or are you eager to listen? Now, one of the things I've noticed over the years is that, that oftentimes when somebody else is speaking to me, that I'm not really focusing in on, on what they're saying, being a good listener, that I'm thinking about what I'm going to say when they stop. And I think we do God the exact same way. That oftentimes that when God desires to speak to us, we're not real good listeners. We had rather talk than we had listen. And I need to become a good listener, but I need to be slow to speak. All right? And I need to be quick to hear. I, I remember several years ago in my prayer time that uh i was having this conversation with the lord and i i'd been praying and and god just clearly spoke to me and said that you know you just need to be still psalm 46 that you just need to be still uh and you need to know that i am god and you need to learn to listen to me that basically what you're doing in your prayer time is that you're coming before me you're telling me what the problems or what, what you're going through, you're telling me what you think I need to do in order to fix that, and you're saying amen and going about your business. And he said this, be still. Just sit down. Be quiet and just listen. You know, because in reality, most of us had rather talk than we have, than we had listened. He, said, he says here, be slow to speak. Slow is the opposite of quick, is the opposite of eager. Eager that I need to be more eager to listen than I am to talk. You know, but but oftentimes we're just the opposite of that. You know, uh <clears throat> sit down, be quiet, and just simply learn to listen. All right. <clears throat> are you better at listening or are you better at talking? You know, and most of us probably better at talking, you know, and one of the things that God spoke to me years ago is this, that I can learn a lot more by listening than I can by talking. Uh, let me say that again. I, I learn a lot more when I'm eager to listen than I do when I'm eager to talk. All right. So let's be good listeners and let's be a little slower to speak. All right. Uh, you know, what I've noticed about me is that. I, I talk about things that are 
it's extremely valuable to me or important to me or that I'm passionate about. Uh, you know, most of us are pretty good at talking about our family. We're pretty good at talking about things going on in our lives. But when we speak, what do we speak of? Uh, at, do I speak of, of things that have eternal value? And I think that as I become a better listener and I learn to listen to the Lord, then I begin to talk about things that have more importance. You know, uh, <clears throat> that he becomes more important to me than other things. But I'll just encourage you to to take some time and to listen and don't be so eager eager to speak. Be eager to listen and be slower to speak. You know, uh, and that's in conversation with people too, not not just with the Lord, but in conversation with, with people. One of the things I think that's helped me and Tina in our marriage the most is that learning to listen and being less eager to speak and tell my opinion. You know, for me to be willing to listen to her and not always have to interrupt her when she's trying to tell me what she's thinking, but that I listen to her and I let her tell me how she feels and what she's going through. And then, then I speak that I've learned to wait. I've learned to speak less and to listen better you know man I, I love to talk especially when you're talking about the things of god i i, I love i love to preach I, I love to teach which <clears throat> which i have to talk i have to speak but being a good listener has really helped me in relationship with with other people and and it's helped me in knowing what to say after I listen to them. I was in conversation with, with a friend one time who's actually a pastor and uh, who I had noticed in his life that oftentimes he did not listen well, but uh, he was a better talker than he was listening. And I was having a conversation with him and, and uh, I said, you, you don't listen real well. And he, he perked up and said, what are you talking about? I said, because the things that you just told me or you just asked me are things I just got through telling you, giving you the information about that far. You wasn't listening to me. That you were thinking about what you were going to say when I stopped. You know, James is very clear here. He says, look, this is something I think you know, but I'm not real sure you practice it. I, I think you know the importance of listening. I think you know that we need to be slower in our speaking. That oftentimes we speak, we speak without thinking. Man, I was, I was talking to one of my daughters the other day about one of their kids, and she said if he would just slow down and think about what he's about to say before he said it, a lot of the stuff that he says would never come out of his mouth. That's true about all of us, isn't it? That we need to stop and think. We need to be good listeners, and we need to be slow to speak. I learn a lot more when I listen than I do when I talk. And James is just saying, look, man, you need to be a better listener than you are a talker. What about you? What about me? Am I learning to listen and am I learning to talk less and allow what I say to have great, great value in the conversation, whether it be with the Lord or whether it be with people. So let's let Jesus be Jesus in our listening, but let's let Jesus be Jesus in our speaking. Let's let Jesus have control of what comes out of our mouth because remember, words are like toothpaste. Once they come out, I can't put it back in. All right, so let's let Jesus be Jesus over our listening, but let's let Jesus be Jesus over our speaking. Be quick to hear, but be slow to speak. James says, I think you know this, but you need to practice it. I think you know it. I think I know it, but we need to apply it to our everyday life. Have a blessed day. Let Jesus be Jesus in you today. Listen well and talk less. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching Complete in Christ as we strive to teach you about the Christ life. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and may you have a blessed day walking with Jesus.